Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to everybody except for this warper. Whoa! No! What? What? Oh! What the fuck? Ah! No! We're going home. We're going home. I swear, it warped me out of my base, out of my vehicle. Welcome back. It's episode 30 in our Subnautica series. I would be less panicky, but honestly, I thought it just ate my Seamoth for a second. Okay. Nobody hit me. Leave me alone. I really want us to explore this, though. Can we just keep going? Let's just keep going. We can do it. We're going to be thorough and patient. In the last episode, we explored the scene of the crime for the uh, Life Pod 7. Uh, it went pretty well. There were bone sharks, whatever they're called. Bone sharks? Uh, everywhere. Uh, here I'm going to drop this, which is apparently useful. Uh, useless, I mean. We're gonna get back in. In this episode, I think we're gonna try and get as far into exploring this as we can. If the Seamoth drops below 50%, I want to, uh, repair it. The other thing is, I want to try and be as thorough as possible while also recognizing that I can only go so deep in this game right now. 300 meters. And we're at 220 right now. So, I need to leave myself a little bit of wiggle room there. I could probably... I'm hearing noises. Swim slightly deeper than that. Maybe. It also might just cause me to insta-die. I don't know. I've never been that low before. Is that a warper? Dude, it sounds like warpers are running fucking buzz saws on their little praying mantis hands, man. Let's try it. What is this? Scanner room? All right. Free titanium. I'm going to seem a little rushed this episode. I promise you, that is pure fear. Pure, unadulterated fear. I also don't have a flashlight. We know where our, we know where our Seamoth is. I don't like the looks of trying to get any deeper than this with the Seamoth. We could go right in here. There's a nice little... Honestly, the Warpers seem to mostly be leaving me alone right here. I want the Seamoth easy to jump back in without being much super deep. Data box, Cyclops depth module, done. Give it to me. Incredible, thank you. Prawn suit, drill arm, drill arm. Oh my God. That's how you, that's how you get the materials. hundred percent, hundred percent. That's how you get the deep materials. That's how you get deep. If this has paid off for itself already, I could die right now. And this, this will have paid off. I could die and lose my Seamoth. And I think that was an absolutely huge moment. All right, we're gonna do everything outside if we can first. Moon pool, we have that already. Moon pool, we have that already. Inventory full, shit. Uh, you know what? I can consume. I can consume. I, I got a little bit more room, but I only got 70 oxygen. I sort of want to break one of these guys open. But I also feel like I really shouldn't. We have this, right? Now, was was two enough to make it? Yes, it was. All right, let's get back to the Seamoth. 50 oxygen. Let's look at what we learned here. All right. Whew. Prawn suit drill arm. Incredible. Mining of large resort deposits. We're going to make a, a prawn suit ASAP. ASAP. Hell Yes. All right. What else did I add? We need the things that we need are nuclear reactor, alien containment, uh, indoor grow bed. Is there something else I missed? Cyclops depth module we got. Oh. <gasps> I just now noticed this. Wow. Streams data from scanner rooms to the HUD. 
dude, I should have done this immediately. Holy shit. That seems like the main use of a scanner room. Like, the main problem with a scanner room currently is it does not... Depth Module Mark 2? Is it does not... Depth Module Mark 3? Is it does not allow you to, uh... See the information that you've gathered. Alright, so let's try this. We go some more, we go some more. We're gonna try, finish exploring this area right here. It says scan, but I don't need it. What are you? Creature egg? Creature egg? Office chair? I think we have it already. Nope. Okay, we're pretty fucking far from the Seamoth at this point, but it's okay. We're going to do all of the stuff on the ground. We're going to get to the stuff inside of the thing. I think the Warpers are staying up top, actually. What the fuck is this? Ah! Nope. Nope. The Warpers are not staying up top. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. And evasive... <laughs> Immersive maneuvers. Ah! ah! There it is again! <laughs> Might be scarier than a Reaper. Might be scarier than a Reaper. A Warper. Ah. Oh. Are we done? Did we survive it? I think we did. I need a little bit of oxygen. Well, Dempsey, if you watch this, we're making that into a clip. <laughs> encounters, encounters Warper. <laughs> Subnautica, blind Subnautica player. Encounters Warper for the first time. God fucking damn it. All right. Even though it wasn't our first encounter. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> they just, they do legitimately instill so much fear in me. I would love to have a flashlight here right now, but beggars can't be choosers. And also, I sort of made my bed. Oops. Now I have to sleep in it, which is the bed of playfully not making a flashlight. And now I'm fucking ruining the day that I decided not to make a flashlight. I will at some point, I promise. All right. So all of the outside here is fine. 85 oxygen. I, ugh, I think we could go through here if we wanted to. Also, I didn't even point this out, I think, last episode when we discovered it, but obviously membrane in this... in the context of the tree. Oh, I need a propulsion cannon. Repulsion can Repulsion. Propulsion. Uh, is, uh... 60 oxygen, that's fine. Membrane spelled like a brain. Which has to have some meaning. They wouldn't spell it that way if there was not a, a reason. Oops, I almost walked right into that uh, little piece of oxygen. Oh, okay. So I need to go before I die of oxygen starvation. But I will be back for the rest of what you have to give me, ship. I will. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. What is it that I learned this time? Office chair. That's right. All right. Corporate profile, Torgal Corp. We know this. This is the uh, Paul Blart and uh, Paul and Blart. Torgal Corporation is a long-standing family-run clan that operates almost a dozen mining and trading operations. Company share price hit an all-time high on the announcement by a Mongolian cabal of their intention to construct a new phase gate utilizing Torgal materials. These plans were put on hold when Bart, the intended leader of the new mining operation, disappeared along with his father. Uh, roughly a decade ago. It's been a decade. Shit. I don't know if I knew that, actually. It's been a decade. Wow. Good information on our friends. All right, so a couple things. We have this, which I don't believe I can get through. Even if I put a laser cutter on, it's not one of those ones. It's a, uh, a different one. Yeah, all right, cool. Just double checking. So then we have this. And this gives me the heebie-jeebies. We're going to go for it. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. 
Ooh, sound of a warper. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, I see a couple things. I see a door that can be lasered open. See an opportunity for Lou. 80 seconds. No more battery. It's fine. No panics. No panics here, Ryan. Nothing there. That is a drill suit fragment, which we definitely have. And then this. Good thing we put this on our hot bar. 60 seconds. How long is it going to take me to get out? 40? If I'm swimming fast? You'd rather be on the right side by 10 seconds is the problem. Let's take a quick look and then we go back. That just hit me, which is painful. We go back. This is designed to give me a fucking panic attack. We go back. We have plenty of time, but also... We had so much time. But we'd rather be safe than not. Alright. So, first things first. We repair you. We go. Uh, we hop back in. To get max oxygen. Now we go. Alright, so we know exactly where we're going. We don't need to waste time with the start. This way left. Ooh, hello, spadefish. Uh, put myself in a pickle here. That way, that way. Through the hole. Cool. Just keep checking to make sure I'm not missing anything down there. Okay, I can't cut through the door. I can't go through the thing. Plenty of time. Another one? Let's do it. If I can open this up to a way outside, that may give me a quicker exit. That's my thought. Maybe I'll open it to a warper on the other side of the door. I don't know. I don't want to start seal unsealing a door as well at the last second. Okay, so we came through that sealed door. It does go out. Oh, buddy, here's the question. What is the next priority? No module there. Nothing there. So, 60 seconds. Let's see if we can figure out how to get out of here. And back to our thing. Yes, we can. All right. All right, let's get in here. We go again. This time I'm going to drive this around. It's close to the bottom of what I would, where I would prefer. I don't want it to be bumped by a warper and go beneath 300 and start getting crushed, you know? All right, that gives us oxygen. Let's actually check out and see if there's any other entrances or exits first. So that we know for sure. If we pop out of one of them, where we are. Does it really look like it? Oh my god, the amount of fish right here. It's so fucking cool. Alright. This is the one. So let's go back. Get 20 more seconds of oxygen. I just need to start taking an extra tank with me at all times. I think it will work that way. I don't know for sure yet. So I need to check. Oh, this is playing with my head. The uh, perspective here. Just double checking there's no like PDAs on the floor. Okay. But through here, which is where we were. So we go through that one. So where we have not been yet is right here. Out the top. Out the top. That must be everything then. Holy shit. Minus, there is a thing we should do with a repulsion cannon. Someday. So, uh, before we do anything else, let's just double check that we did not leave any be uh, beneficial modules behind. No modules. There's another one down here, right? Yeah. Those feel like a thing I desperately need to make sure I get if I get the chance. All right, I think, honest to God, 
that is it for the wreck. So, I sort of don't know if I got any deeper than this. I don't think I want to go any deeper, though. Try not to go any lower. There is more right there. Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm looking at membranes or not. 267. I just see a dark shape. Right there is the proposed Degrassi habitat. Holy fucking shit. 400 meters that way. Not right there, but... Alright, we're out. We're going back home. What are you? Oh. 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 Scare me. So they're vents. Of some sort. I mean. So here's the question. We're 200 meters down. I wonder if there's anything. Oh, buddy. Never mind. Fuck me sideways. Too hot. Too hot. I should have checked. 63 degrees Celsius, obviously. 46, 48, 49. Pretty fucking hot right here. That's funny. That's really funny. Oh, God, there's so many ways for the ocean to kill you. Fucking shit. All right. 16. Now we're much better. All right, cool. I wanted to see... This would be, this would be really supremely dumb, but I wanted to see if I could get close and scan it. <laughs> what is fucking scanning it going to tell me? Nothing. I don't think it's going to let me scan it. All right. This part is cool. 24 degrees, by the way. Oh! I think I just ran into the tip of one of those. This part is very cool. We're going back towards home. We're going to deposit our inventory and go for the next life pod. Uh, I'm going to make a flashlight and a beacon. What's that noise? I'm going to make a flashlight and a beacon. When we get home. It's just the music. I swear to fucking God. Spike torn grass. Now that, I don't know if that was just the... That's a... Ah, ah, ah! Nope, wrong button. Cut it off. Fucking... You little... Fucking... Die, bitch. Uh, nope, don't you come for me. So, let's try this. Inventory full. Ooh, I will get something. Okay. Nope, my inventory is just full. Okay. Oh, I bet it's bigger. Spike torn grass seed. It's purple and not. Hmm. They're purple and not green. And I believe green is what I needed to grow. And so I think these are honestly yet less useful for me in my current in my current endeavor. But I'm going to take them anyways so that I have them. Hold up. I need to orient myself here. This way. Uh, I'm going to take them anyways. All right. Man, we are... Uh, as we would say in Skyrim, we are on the road again. We are just out exploring whatever whatever strikes our fancy. Which is everything because of the way my brain works. Uh, I'm just wondering why these are shaped the way they are. I don't know. Alright. We go back. We go back home. Ooh, 
Oh, we also need more food before we go off on another adventure. Food and water, food and water. All right, that was fun though. Fun and successful. These are crazy looking. They're like little city city streets. It looks like. Is this the Yes, this is the wreckage that gives me my base, right? Yeah, all right, cool. Great. It's like this near to the surface. Uh, one other thing that I want to do while I'm here. Take a look. What's it going to cost? What's it going to cost me? Game? Two plasteel ingots, two era gels. Fuck. Enamel glass, diamond, and lead. I can make plasteel ingots, maybe? I can't make rubies. Also, we have something to read here. Oh, yeah. We have the... Uh, Spike torn grass to read. Shares a close genetic similarity with blood grass, but it's evolved to house its root system in rigid horn shaped structures. All right. Well, plasteel ingots require titanium and lithium, so I can make those. It's rubies that I don't have. Is there a way for me to. No? All right, home, home again, home again. Let's go. Time to get ready for the next adventure. That was a good one. We had lots of fear. We saw a reaper again. We got way too close to some warpers. Uh, we had the fear of exploring a wreckage at 300 meters down. I think it's, I'm glad we did that. We got some very useful blueprints, uh, including a moon pool. Uh, which we haven't really looked at what it takes again, did we? Did we? All right, let's do the basics first. Lubricant lead, titanium ingot. I can make it right now if I got enough titanium. Let's do the basics first. I'm going to need another organics uh, thing. Do I have any of these? I do have a red wort seed. So let's go here. Ah, uh, our base is not. Are they still in here? They're not. Fuck. Aw, oh, did we fuck up with these Bulbo seeds? Damn. I mean, they're healthy snacks at home. I have a, I have lots of snacks at home. The problem is they're not great for here. It doesn't seem like they're great for here. We're at, we're at 152. It's going up. I bet it's going up so much quicker because of this. Sorry, because of this than it is of anything else though. I don't know, we'll try it. We'll try growing a bunch of Bulbo seeds. Worst case scenario, we have a bunch of Bulbo seeds to eat. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. Uh, all right, so we're gonna need another wall locker, I think, for organics. Uh, spike torn grass, we won't have. Also, I highly doubt we actually need that one. We can get creep vine literally anytime. These ones are the slightly rarer ones, so organic seems less important at the moment. Let's just chuck it in here. All right. Also, if we're gonna hold up. If we're gonna do that, let's just chuck them in there. That's our greenhouse anyways. This, these, these are obviously our organics chests. We already built them. Organics one. In here, we throw all that shit and also that. I'm sorry, it's not shit. I'm just, I'm bummed that our Bulbo seed did not, we didn't come back to 650 out of 650 power, you know? If we had, that would be pretty fucking cool. However, I'm pretty sure most of the power that we're getting is from all this other stuff we're doing. Uh, not gel sack, sorry. Take that though. All right. 
Do I have two of these? I do. In that case, I'm going to put one in here. All right, so let's do it. Uh, we can now make this something else. So we'll just delete it for now. Uh, toy car goes in here. I'll tell you that much. So does the hat. So gel sack is a material which I will be using eventually. Um, we have a couple batteries. We have a radio message. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Let's do the radio message while we're working on stuff. I priority automated message from Aurora Live 13. Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. <laughs> Burial detail? Incredible! What? That's hilarious. That's so fucking funny. Okay, so I was correct. This proposed Degrassi habitat is the one where we found Blart and Paul uh, stuff. Okay, so this one now becomes orange because it's a life pod that we would like to find. wonder where it is. Uh... That way, not that far. Okay. So, um, we're going to check out all the batteries. It's uh, it's more fun if I just take literally all the bad batteries and get them out of here. Um, do I have 100% battery? No, I do not. All right, cool. And we put the worst batteries in here. Top them off. Take these. Great. So, I would like to make a couple things. Uh, including a beacon, which is going to require a flashlight, which is just going to require a little bit of glass from me. Wouldn't be in food, Ryan. It would be in materials, but I don't think we actually have any. Glass is just two quartz, right? So that's lithium. Sorry, it's in my ores. That's right. Uh, glass. Glass. Flashlight time, baby. Oh my god. I've done it. Are you happy? Of course you're happy. I'm happy. Uh, so... I just used a full battery again. No big deal. Uh, it's fine. Let's put it on... F Let's put it on four. Then put, uh... Laser cutter on five. We can put Habitat Builder back. Look at that sucker. Ooh! Right. All right. Uh, next thing I would like to build is a beacon. Also potentially a better uh, tank. So beacon is probably under... Is it a deployable? It's a deployable. Copper ore and titanium. Copper ore. Titanium. I do need more quartz next time I go out. Just a to... good thing to learn. Fuck it. Let's build. It looks like the exact same... Uh, requirements uh, are needed for a let's take at least 10 of these to make a titanium ingot one extra to make a graph trap let's figure out how the fuck a graph trap works you know uh, let's do it grab that we're gonna make a titanium ingot because we need one for something else and also it's better for our storage now here's the next question can I make titanium out of titanium ingots? Doesn't look like it. All right, cool. Uh, so we have a beacon. We have a grab trap. Fuck it. Let's just go ahead and put this outside. I'm interested to see what happens. Uh, flashlight. So they actually... Does it subsume them? Or it just grabs them to you? Ah! It takes them to you. You pick them up. You, you pick them up. You pick up Grav Trap. Does Grav Trap have battery? 
It is a useful resource gathering machine. You could probably carry one or two of them. Chuck them down. I see. Okay. Interesting. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, sure. Let's put it in this box. This is a great box for, honestly, where we're going to put it. Uh, right next to the titanium for resource gathering. So... Chuck that in there. Chuck a diamond in here. I don't want to stop recording, but this thing is looking at me like I need to stop recording. All right. One more check at the uh, one more check at the old uh, bioreactor mystery, which we're still trying to figure out. Still getting stuff out of this. Not so much out of this. All right. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one tomorrow. If you did enjoy this episode, a like or a positive comment uh, helps us out a ton with the uh, the YouTube algorithm. Man, we're really cranking now, aren't we? I would say we're really cranking. I would say we're really cranking. Sorry, it looks like this thing is bleeding right there. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with our progress. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Another episode of Subnautica. Until then, bye bye